Good afternoon, good morning, good night. It depends on when you choose to view this. I introduce myself as Vanessa Bass, not the Long Ranger, simply because you know we have been in an area of COVID-19. I will not do this whole presentation in this mask, but understand when you return to your appointed jobs in Queen Anne County Public Schools, you will more than likely be asked to wear a mask when you are in a group. Social distancing will be in place for the foreseeable future. How it will look in each one of your job sites, I do not know. You will have certain things that you will need to do when you report to your work site, one of which is wear a mask. Because I happen to be in an arena where I am social distance, it is 10 people right now to that distance, but I only have two. I have my producer, Mr. Jeff Strait, and my audience who I could not live without, Kimberly Easterlin. She will be getting her policy before anybody in the county. I appreciate you. I hope you remain safe. Please be healthy, wash your hand, and be kind. Easy things to do in your life. So, I am here to present your favorite thing, policy. This might be a refresher for some, or brand new to some of you that will be joining our prestigious school system for school year 2021. Policies are very important. It is what we do. We cannot, will not be able to survive without policies. Granted, some policies will be added. I am sure, more than sure, that I'll be back talking about how we proceed in the era of COVID. It's called COVID-19 because it was discovered in 2019. So, God forbid it returns in 2020 in the fall, like some scientists believe, because it will be toppled with the flu. We will more than likely, as I said in the beginning, have policies that direct our lifestyles and our workplaces based on the COVID. These are employee policies. This is how you stay out of trouble. The simple way to put it, this is how you stay out of trouble. I like to know the rules. It's like when you started driving. When I started driving, it was no driver curfew. But when my kids started driving, they had to be home at 12 midnight. So I'm going to tell you these policies, and you might be like one of my three children, arrive at home at exactly 12 midnight. However, with policies, please make sure you make very good decisions. This is your livelihood. So if you don't practice the things that I'm sharing with you, it may impact your livelihood. This policy, number 103, is probably one of the most important policies we have. It is a policy of non-discrimination. In the era we're in right now, I need not talk any more about it, but it goes back to what I said. If you be kind, most of these things in the small print will not be a problem to you. However, if it becomes a policy, then it's a, if it becomes a problem, then it becomes a problem for me. Each one of these statements tells you the things that we expect as an employee of Queen Anne County Public Schools. And if you do not adhere to the non-discrimination policy, then it becomes a problem for me or any director that stands in these shoes going forward. All right. Bullying, harassment, and intimidation. Policy 505, it is about how you carry yourself. Whether you are an employee to employee, 
whether you are an employee to a student or whether or not you are the leader, school-based leader, to your teachers, your students, and your parents. It really depends on personality plus. If you have a problem with bullying, it is perceived differently from the people you come in contact with. Be kind. If you're kind, you don't have a problem with bullying, harassment, and intimidation. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's about your conduct. I don't have to read it to you. You can read it. I am assured that I am talking to everyone that understand intentional conduct. And if it's repeated time after time after time, it does report to us at central office. A student can report it to a counselor. A student can go directly to the assistant principal. If it occurs on a bus with a bus driver, they can certainly go to those folks in charge. The way of life is we all have a boss. And certain things have its way, I promise you, to finding its way to the boss or the courtroom. So we don't want to have to go down that path. Please, people, be aware of your behavior. If you have bullying tendencies, work on it. If you harass children, if you harass teachers, if you harass assistant principals, be very, very careful. People document, document, document. You'd be surprised what people write down. You might not see paper any longer because they have a note section on their phone. Child abuse. It is the one policy that worries me the most working in a school system. Queen Anne County Board of Education employees are required to report suspected child abuse or neglect. Please err on the side of caution. If you suspect it, you've had indications. You've had indications. Physical abuse is one type of child abuse. Whelps, bruises, burns, continuous fractures, collarbone, broke my arm, toes that seem small but a push or a shove, as we can see, can result in many, many injuries that impairs that student or adult of doing its either work function, gaining instruction, because it results in missed time. If a kid does not come to distance class, if they don't report to school physically, if employees don't report to work, it impacts the other students, especially with a group project, my favorite. But for those of us that work with adults, somebody else then has to do that work. If you see lacerations or abrasions, please people report it. Sexual abuse, totally unnecessary. Any of the acts listed below is a violation of policy 506. Some of them, but not limited to child pornography, human trafficking, it's bigger and better Coming out of pandemic, it'll probably be worse. We don't have numbers on those. Incest, we know it occurs. I don't have to describe it. Usually in a family setting, large family, small families, it doesn't make any difference. Rape, sexual offense in any degree, first, second, or third. Sodomy, and unmutual or perverted sexual practices. I don't need to describe those. But what I will talk to you a little bit about is sexual offenses in any degree. I know when I was hiring in another neighboring county, 
many people don't realize parents who are at odds about a relationship, if they have a student who is dating a student that's a year or two older, many, many times parents call the police. Okay, you get the charge, but what occurs is things work out, you go off to college, the other person goes off to college, and guess what? You forgot that charge. So when we run the background check, which we will in human resources, guess what pops up? The charge from high school. So I always tell young people, especially when I go to colleges, be very careful what you do. Don't alienate other folks because they will call the police, they will charge you. You may go to court, the charges may be dropped. There is something that you all believe that is expunged, but you have to pay for that. It's a high ticket lawyer fee you have to pay for expulsion of your record. Wash it, that's what it's called. So just be careful, even talk to your children about that. Make good decisions in relationships. Have no relationships where you work. Have no relationships where you work will more than likely, more than likely keep you from having to have to address policy 506. Mental injury. We do have children, you all have all seen the news like myself, where a guardian can be a parent, foster care, grandparents. Each one of those folks and the generations they came up in believe a different way in bringing up children. Denying food, meal to a child, it's mental abuse along with physical abuse. Locking children in closets, in the basements, chaining them up, we see this. Just because it doesn't happen where you live, it happens many other places. You could receive a child in your classroom who has been subject to any of those type of mental abuses. Please report. There is either a school psychologist that's visiting. I know they're on case overload. I know principals are on just instructional overload, especially the beginning of this school year. Begin relationships with people and you will know if there is a problem. Learn your employees. Take time to build a relationship. It will help you with each one of these abuses or at least identifying the abuses in policy 506. Do I know relationships take time? They do. Building a relationship, does it take a risk? It does. Keep working at it. Neglect. Leaving a child unattended. So, you're going to say, parents are going to have to go back to work. The child may be home alone. But there are divisions of children that is documented by law. It's called the latchkey child law. Depending on the age of the child, it can have children at home alone. However, if they're home alone, Leave a meal, leave phone numbers. If you don't have a job, my dad didn't have a job where he could come to the phone readily because he worked thousands of feet in the air in a crane, so he wasn't gonna come down. However, I could get hold of a guard parent, a great neighbor, older sister. Please make sure you plan because children may be at home alone but that does not mean they're alone. Take proper care of any child. Take proper care. Make sure they're bathed. Plenty of children wear the same clothes at school every day. Just wash them at night. That's been going on for centuries. Not a problem. Be clean. I don't know how many of you all, you know, know people that might be neglectful of children. Children are not a project. It's a lifetime investment. <clears throat> Reporting procedures. All of this is guided by the Department of Social Services. All of it. 
You'll have to make an oral report. That's the first thing you do. But having been a school principal, don't make the report and just don't tell me. Let me know. Let my assistant principal know. Let the guidance counselor know. Because what we don't want is social services showing up in the building. Oops, surprise. And then the principal's kind of standing there with mud on his face. It happens more so in schools than with us. We can, we can tend to take care of those things that are in policy 506 if we're an adult. And you have to get up carriage for the sexual abuse. You have to get up carriage to report it. But children are different. You all are advocates for children. My bus drivers, advocates. Cafeteria workers, advocates. Teachers, advocates. Because you see things that other people don't see. And then get, by chance meeting, the cafeteria works. Oh, I saw that too. Oh, the bus driver. You know when a child gets on the bus in the morning, he has very little to say. I let him off in the, in the afternoon. He's by himself. He gets on in the morning. He's by himself. Please, these things must have immediate attention. It may seem silly. It may be explained away. And it could be a very simple explanation. But you won't be held accountable if you do not say anything. So make sure you report it orally to social services and inform your principals. Most principals, like myself, or my former self, we don't like surprises. Then you will be asked to write a report. Make sure that you do two copies, one to Queen Anne County Department of Social Services, one to the state's attorney, most of us don't like attorneys, and one to the pupil personnel worker. Your principal may ask for a copy, but this is to be held in strictest confidence. I know loose lips sink ships. Strictest confidence. This is not to be discussed on Facebook or whatever else is out there. I don't follow too many of them at all. I have enough to read. But please don't discuss this. I don't know what it is inherent with people. They just like to discuss other folks' misfortune. And this goes to the courts. You don't, you, you don't want to mess up the case. We're trying to help the kid. We're trying to help the young person that's been abused in any of the ways we discussed in 506. Immunity and confidentiality. I'm huge on that. I am, anybody that works for me or know me, this is confidential. If I hear it again, I'll be able to trace it back. Please, please, any person talking about really anything that could impact a child or an adult's life, please, because it's going to impact the investigation. It may end up not being able to help anybody because we were talking too much. Mom's the word. Take it to your grave. Then, of course, it tells you the sanctions. This is how you get in trouble. You could be dis suspended or dismissed for not reporting it. Caseloads are huge. And that says to you, it's a lot of this going on all over the world, not just here, but we happen to have policies. Sexual harassment policy 446. Maintain a learning and working environment free from sexual harassment. This usually has to do with adults. And the policy for any member of staff that's harassing another member of the staff or student through conduct of miscommunication and, and a, of a sexual nature, hmm, might be in front of your face, more than likely not. More than likely not. 
And this is when social media gets us in trouble. We create fake accounts. We correspond with people that we shouldn't. And it ends up coming in the schoolhouse, whether you're a child or an adult. And there is a mechanism to report that also. Many times it happens employee to boss once you become an adult. What is sexual harassment? We've heard this word a lot. You have to say it slow. Quid pro quo. Meaning taking advantage of someone in order to get something in return. If you do this, I'll do that. Many times it's high school students going through adulthood, through college, to a job. You know what it is and you recognize it when you see it. Which then makes for a hostile work environment in that particular framework. Another one is unwelcome comments. Let's not do dirty jokes. Let's not talk about folks' sexual orientation. None of your business. Yes, that sounds like one word. It is none of your business. That goes back to, it's really kind of confidential if you find something, you stumble upon something. That's that person's life. Get busy in your own life. You're busy. We don't have time to gossip and talk about things at work. Don't whisper at, well, we don't have water coolers anymore. Can't do that. Don't make, don't make eye gestures when the person come in. Don't do that. The person knows. The person knows. Many, many times it affects their performance. Many times. Because they shut down or either don't come to work. And many times it's offensive. Just because the folks in your household or your family might be armored against that, everybody's not. And it could go back to some bad things that occurred when I talked about how they were treated coming up. Everybody is not in your same checkoff rubric. Great parents, great high school, great college, great relationships. That's very rare with people. If that's you, you're blessed and highly favored. Policy number nine, I love it. Policy 528, uh, but it's title nine. All with sexual harassment. I feel kind of weird I'm here talking to an uh, audience of two because we're taping. But it all goes back to your behavior. They can levy a complaint if they're a student. They can levy a complaint if they're an adult. And I think people think adults can handle their business. Many, many times, especially if it's affecting their livelihood, people don't say anything. And I know it sounds like it's being repeated, but it's being repeated because we keep seeing people repeating it. You know, I talk to new teachers all the time. Your clothing. We have summer clothing. Those of us have to work 12 months, but we also have winter clothing. Do not, teachers, wear anything that is going to spark a reaction from students. Teachers, bus drivers, and anybody else that's employees of the county school system, make sure you take Note of this, some of the things, padding, pinching, physically balking, unwelcome sexual conversation or contact, spreading rumors, everything I've covered because I see a lot of it on or off school property. It's just like the kids. The kids say, oh, the fight policy is only at school. Just wait till I get to dust and so. And then, of course, you got a flash mob coming to the fight. This is a little bit different. 
this is kind of dark. On or off school property, please, please, this is your job. If you want to keep it, do not engage in personal relationships on your job. And you know all those sayings about dating on the job. See me after work, come by my office, give me a call after you view this, and I will tell you all of those sayings that you know. We report, we report, and report. Do not let any of this behavior go by the wayside, because even if you handle it, they move on to the next victim. And guess what? All the harassment reports end up on my desk. And if I think I have covered this to the maximum, I'm not going to be happy if I see that report. I am going to be very unhappy. That's just happened to be this director of human resources. As you know, people don't stay everywhere anytime for a long time. But if I'm here, or the director behind me, because we are covered by the Title IX law, that's a federal law. They're going to do their job. Principals have a huge load on their shoulders because they're looking out for all of these things, getting the reports, and then it is reported to the director, supervisor of student services. Right now, it's Mr. Matt Evans. Right now, it's Vanessa Bass. Right now. Last year, for those of you all that saw this, policy 408, don't drink and use drugs on the job. Please don't do that. Do not do that. We've all seen old movies, teachers with a fifth in the drawer, the paper editor, fifth in the, we can't recreate that. There is no drinking or using drugs, illegal drugs on campus. No drinking and not using illegal drugs on any of our campus. When I say campus, I'm talking about all school campuses, the warehouse, central office, and any other annex buildings. And yes, there is random testing if people are suspected. Now, all of you all took a drug test if you're working here. Don't think it's over. It could happen again. Randomly, random drug testing. This is a drug-free workplace. Policy 408 says the same thing. No drugs, no alcohol. It is just illegal. Please don't share your headache medicine. Could be an allergy to time. No, it's not illegal. But just don't give other people your medicine. Let's not do that. And just remember, your behavior off the clock still impacts on the clock. Don't drink all night long. It's difficult to perform your task the next day. Don't do that. That's off premises, but you got to come back to premises. It could impact. First thing the kids going to say if you're a teacher, I, I, I smell alcohol on my teacher's breath. It's probably from the night before. At least I'm going to give you a bit of a dollar. Have it not be in your car. On the premises. You can be suspended or dismissed. Most of the sanctions are absolutely the same. We'll do an investigation. You more than likely will be on leave until the investigation is complete. The finding of the investigations will be shared with you and probably your union representative. Just don't do it. We don't smoke. We don't smoke anything that can be smoked on any of our campuses, our school campuses, 
central office, warehouse, or any other annex. Please don't do it. Because most of you all at the warehouse are driving a bus or a box truck or a van or a car. Don't do that. Your license gets suspended even if you get it back, your privilege for doing your work. If that is your work, then we have to find something else for you to do. Don't do that. Don't take um, vehicles someplace you shouldn't be and then you get caught. Only carry school-based people with you. They work here. They're covered under the same rules and regulations. And I say this every year. I said this every year since 2002. The dating policy, 407. There are no non-professional relationships going on. I know that. You are not dating students, definitely, and not having relations with staff, no matter how much I say it. Every year I get a call about what's in red because it says stop it. Don't do it. Don't begin it. Prohibit it. Stop it. If you're thinking about it, don't think about it. Watch something else. Don't think about it. Don't watch the person. Don't watch a movie with the person in it. Don't read the Facebook post. Don't read the Twitter or whatever else is out there. Don't do that. It includes phone calls, text messages, love letter number nine, or emails. And emails and texts can be pulled from the cloud. You can push that delete button all you want. And guess what? Some investigator can find you out. Remember, I say this to my, my people all the time. There are no secrets. Just let that resonate as I go through the rest of this. There are no secrets, people. Somebody going to tell. Your friend that get mad with you. The girl that you're dating or the man that you're dating, somebody going to get mad and they're going to tell. You know that song, Go Tell It on the Mountain? Mm. They start on the street. They're going to start up here at the outlets. They're going to tell it on 301. They're going to tell it in Centerville, Chester Town. It might even make it to Annapolis. It depends on what you're doing. Stop it. Report, report, report. I just get all of these wonderful things. And I never do these presentations without having a backdrop. I saw that. I know that. And it happens. That's how it becomes a policy. All right. Now, I know I'm not talking to anybody that's looking at this tape. You all are not doing things on the weekend that you're going to have to call somebody. If, if you're straight, you'll call somebody and let us know that you've been arrested, charged, conviction come down the line after you spent a lot of money. Call us first. Please do not let the COO, whoever that will be, cross-section the police department, the sheriff, or the FBI. I had the FBI come to a area that I was working at as the HR person. FBI pulled up on the back parking lot, thank you, and carried out a person. I'm not telling tales out of school because it made every major newspaper Your sin will find you out, and your crime will definitely find you out. We'll find it out. So you got to call me if you get arrested. 
see a commissioner and get charged within 48 hours. That at least makes me think you're credible, you're honest. Not guilty till proven guilty. But you've got to call policy 427. Electronic policies. Now my staff will tell you, I will never be violating 410. He said, oh, I called you on your cell phone. And I'll say, it's on my desk. Some of y'all might have called me. I don't carry it around. Mr. Jeff made me wear this thing on. on. I wore pants so I could be mic today. I don't, I don't carry that phone. I'm a landline girl. If you all get calls from me after I go home, it is not on the hot cell phone. The cell phone get hot. I have a landline and I bought several of them because apparently they're not going to be sold at Best Buys. So I went to Target. I believe in landlines. So, you have electronics. I don't know what the wall is, but you, please don't be Facebooking on our equipment. And do not pull it up if it's inappropriate in a building unless it's related to your job. If it's related to your job. And of course, violators will be handled by human resources. I just ask you not to do it. You have plenty of time once you get off. If you're out of this building at lunch, Facebook away or whatever else it is. I don't know what else is out there. I just hear about Facebook all the time. But understand, it's still sharing. You could lose your privilege of using anything in the buildings that are owned by us. And you needed to teach. We found that out since March 15th. Ah, oh, March 13th. Friday the 13th. Bad luck in itself. And there are all your exciting social networking things that you all can be on. Don't do that. I guess that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, it's a, it, it is really um, to get yourself out there if you're looking for a job. But do it on your time. Do it on your time. And I know people use their phones when they're in the classroom. And if I'm talking to new teachers, do not pick up the phone if you see my number. 410-758-2403, it might be a test. Because if you pick up that phone, your eyes is off of the class. You'd be surprised what happens in 32 seconds in a class if you're not looking. They already know you use social media. They already know. They figure you out like day two. That brings me to the end of your presentation for this year. It may be a refresher for some, but unfortunately, nothing has changed, which means I'm here before you again, just in the video version, and it will be dropped into safe schools. Everybody will be able to take me home. And people will say, who is that woman? They never know a name, it's four letters. If you need me, call me, be safe, wash your hands, be kind. Thank you.